Hi, I'm Christina Locker Burner and welcome to another great video. Yes, it's National Food Cheese Day. It's October and October celebrates cheese recipes. And today I will give you some delicious ketogenic low carb recipes on the hand to enjoy in this beautiful month, October, or whenever you're watching this video. So make sure if you like that video, share it with a friend, give this video a thumb up that I know that I can create more of those topics and I hope you enjoy all those recipes. I just want to give you in this video some inspiration, some different recipes which you can try out and all those recipes are in the description box below where you get the full recipe. So let's hop right in. So number one is Old But Gold. It's the Italian stromboli. It's made with a typical fathead dough filled with tomato passata and you can fill it with whatever you want. But I preferred at that time some salami because salami is great. Why not? I love it hot or cold. <laughs> Both recipes are great. It's like, like I'm a pizza guy. I'm a pizza girl. I eat pizza hot and I eat pizza cold. And there are some people who hate just cold pizza, but I adore it both ways. Let me know in the comment section below what do you like more, cold or hot? If you enjoy more a lighter version, then you need to try those feta screwers. Skewers, screwers. <laughs> Super easy to make. You just Give your zucchini a shave with a peeler and you just roll the feta cheese, which is super light in taste, and then uh, put it onto a cube. You don't have to, but I think it's, it's more a summer recipe, but you can enjoy it whenever you want the whole year. And we're grilling also in winter, <laughs> so that's why I just say it's for many people a summer recipe, but we enjoy it also in winter. And it's a super light recipe, you know, it's not a super fatty cheese, but if you ha don't have feta on hand, you can go with any other cheese you have. Yes, this recipe is from my mother-in-law and I just saw it sometimes here and there on Pinterest, but it's a super delicious one. It's the burger roll, it's super easy to make. It's just like eggs and curd and some cheese. And then you get a dough and then you just fill it up with delicious burger or minced meat. Add some whatever you have, like tomatoes or tomatoes. <laughs> um, some ketchup. <laughs> what else do you have to put in your burger? I don't know that word. Pickles. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> And then roll it up and then enjoy it. It's a super delicious recipe. It's super filling and it's super easy to make. And it's perfect for a dinner night. And if you're having friends over, it's a blast to enjoy that recipe. If you miss bread and if you love garlic cheese bread, then you have to try this recipe because it's a delicious cauliflower garlic cheese breadstick recipe. It's super easy to make like most of my recipes and it won't take that much time because you just need cauliflower. If you're not a fan of cauliflower you can go with broccoli or you can make a fathead dough but I think this recipe does not really taste like cauliflower so it's a super delicious one because you get the taste of garlic <laughs> which we love here in this household and you cut a lot of cheese and you can top with ever herbs you want but I prefer chilies because we love it garlicky and we love it spicy. Give it a try. Okay if you haven't tried it if you never ever have been to Germany we have in Germany especially in when the Oktoberfest is the typical German cheese dip which is called Obatz especially here in Bavaria and Munich it's a super delicious one, you just enjoy it with bread. I know bread is high in carbs, but the cheese dip is ketogenic, it's low in carbs, 
and it's super delicious and super easy to make. And there are many varieties how to create this, but in general you just take the brie cheese, you just take some cream cheese, you take of course like paprika powder, a little bit of garlic and other great herbs if you want to and then we are gonna cook it at home here <laughs> at this place we are gonna cook the cheese and add after it uh, the cream cheese to it <laughs> that it's more like a, a um, better combined um, sauce cheese cheese sauce cheese dip and you will see after the cheese hardens it will get like a stiffer dip which is perfect for ketogenic crackers or when you're going uh, even though you can enjoy it with beautiful delicious veggie sticks like celery cucumbers carrots you can go here fully crazy and this cheese dip is super delicious give it a try when I went to France with my friends for the bachelorette for my best friend, um, you know, the French have many great recipes and there was this re recipe where they had puff pastry filled with a cheese core and I thought, okay, it's a little bit hard to recreate a puff pastry into ketogenic, at least I don't know it, <laughs> but if you have a recipe on the hand, uh, then I would be happy to get it and try it out but anyways I tried it with a almond flour crust just to recreate that fat hat dough and fill it with that cheese core you know to just uh, get the right measurements and to just bake it and it's super delicious you have to try it I think there's nothing better than melting cheese <laughs> because this means for me love in your tummy another delicious recipe which you can cook for the week or if you're having friends over you know i love to host parties i know at the moment it's a little bit hard during those covid times but in general if you're having friends over or if you're meal prepping the spinach roll is kick-ass it's super delicious if you love cheese and if you love spinach it's a super simple super delicious recipe and if you don't like fish I go here with smoked salmon if you don't like it you can go with any filling you want you can go with hummus <laughs> if you just say okay I just want to go pure vegetarian then you just fill it with some veggies or roasted veggies <laughs> and if you're more on the meat side you can fill it with meat you can fill it with turkey you can go here fully crazy you know those are like typical pine wheels or like a typical roll roll up but it's a spinachy cheesy dough and super delicious but I think the combination between spinach cheese cream cheese and a smoked salmon is super delicious Oh my wee, yes, when I went to Fran to France when I went to Paris like two years ago um, is it two years ago? They had at Disneyland a croque monsieur. Super delicious recipe. So I recreated this recipe into something delicious which is low in carbs. So we're, we used here the typical cloud bread version for the breading and just filled it with some ham and cheese and just baked it in the oven. And I must say there's nothing better. It's a super simple recipe. A recipe You don't need much of ingredients. But this one is really, really great. So <laughs> let me know in the comment section below what of those recipes you're going to try. And this is one of those favorite recipes which all you guys wished. It's a low carb pretzel. The low carb pretzel is an oldie but a goldie. And if you're missing pretzels, it comes almost to a pretzel recipe, but the almond makes it a little bit sweeter. But if you're having a cheese or mustard dip, you're good to go. <laughs> you're going here with a typical fat hat dough and then just fold it up into a beautiful pretzel and just bake this thing. So my friend, I hope you enjoyed those delicious cheese recipes which we're celebrating in October because October has a National Cheese Lovers Day so I hope you enjoyed all those recipes make sure to subscribe to the channel 
If you haven't so and share this video with a friend or your beloved ones. See you next Saturday, same time, same place. Thank you for watching.